creative director of Ministry of Food, Toby Puddick, is joining me today. And we're going to be cooking a beautiful dish from your new book. So we're going to cook a whole cauliflower, mm, which is a great alternative beautiful. to whole roasting legs of lamb and things yep. like this. So we're going to make a mesco <laughs> sauce. This is really easy. It takes a little while. It is a roast dish. So to mm -hmm. start with, we'll get some olive oil on here. Do you want okay. to do that? So just a really healthy drizzle. And we'll get some salt and pepper on there too. And now we're doing this in the oven, but I've actually done this recently for a dinner party because you can feed so many people. Um, and it just looks so great on the table. But I've done it in the barbecue. Really? How'd yeah. that come up? Well, it works really well because put some foil on it for the mm -hmm. first part of it and then take it off and you get that smoky flavour. It's which amazing. Is really nice. And then with that romesco as well, really brings out the smokiness it's too. Absolutely. So yep. the first stage is we've got our oven going at about 180, 200 degrees behind mm -hmm. us and we'll get all these guys in. As this is a roast dish, this is going to take a little while. So the capsicum and the three tomatoes will be the base of the romesco and these will come out before the cauliflower is ready because this guy or girl is going to take about two, almost two hours to cook. Fabulous. These have been sitting in the cling film for about 15 minutes and they've steamed and all the yep. skin is really loose in there now. So just yeah. be careful when you open it that you don't get a steamy facial. <laughs> and there's two ways of doing this. You can do it the easy way and actually peel the skin off under running water. Mm -hmm. um, you actually lose a lot of the flavour when you do that. Yeah. We have a lot of the flavour is in the, the, the juices and the essence of yep. this. So try and avoid the water if you can and just take your time and loosen it up. To make the romesco, mm -hmm. let's pull some garlic and sort of sure. finely chop that. You can probably get the almonds in there at the same time. A right. good handful will do it. After that's come together into a really coarse mixture, you can get the bread in there and start to pulse that as well. Okay. Then we'll go in with this guy. With the tomatoes, I've peeled the skin off. I just want to open them up and get a little bit of the seeds out there so we don't have a seedy sauce. Mm -hmm. Felt the room shaking there. <laughs> cool. So let's get some bread into there. Okay. A couple of pieces. Um, we can put this beautiful tomato and capsicum nice into there as well. Excuse me. Yeah. We've got some smoky paprika, which is really essential to this dish and really bounces off that mm. capsicum we got there as well. Yep. And if you like it hot, you can get some chilli flakes in there as well. Yes. I often pop a whole chilli in there. So now we've got the bread, the garlic the peppers, the paprika, <laughs> the tomatoes, the capsicum in there. We're going to blitz that together till it's really quite smooth while adding the olive oil to where we've got a beautiful, loose consistency that can be spooned. And at the very end, we'll have a taste for salt and vinegar so we can season with those two ingredients. Sounds delightful. Consistency looks good. So now we'll add some red wine vinegar and a pinch of salt into there. Pinch of salt. And let's get some parsley into there as well. So I'm going to rip off about a handful of flat leaf parsley. And then make it life easy. And just give that a tear into there. And we'll give it one final blitz and should be good to go. Lovely. All right, so on it goes. And I reckon our cauliflower will be ready soon. Right? Shall we see? Yes. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> How good does that look? Right, so the way I like to do this is I would serve this in the middle of the table. I'm yeah. not going to muck around. Yeah. I mean, if I was going to be really slack, which I often am, I'd just put this whole thing on the table as is because it looks mm. brilliant with some of this in a bowl. Yeah, for, nice. for the sake of today, because I'm in special company, Ooh, we'll put a good amount of romesco down. Mm -hmm. We can just kind of give it a bit of a zhuzh around. Nice. And I always love to put some seeds and nuts yeah. on top of this. Yep. You don't have to, but it gives beautiful texture mm -hmm. to there. So we've got some beautiful black poppy seeds into there, some sunflower kernels and mm. pine nuts. Do you want to mix those guys together? They've been lightly toasted in a dry pan. So we can pop romesco to the side for a later date. Right. Give that a toss. Carefully pick this up and pop that directly on top. Ooh, la, la. And why don't you just, yeah, we'll just give these a really good mix through. Yep. And I would just give these a really good sprinkling on top. Tobes, that looks so cool. And I'm just thinking about how this is going to taste. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And particularly texture is, is crucial for this, mm -hmm. especially with vegetables. You've got to be super creative. Yep. Smoothness of the sauce. You've got the almost steak-like cauliflower because yep. that's going to emulate that when you cut into it. And okay. then the crunch from the nuts. That's it. Brilliant, I love it. See, vegetables don't have to be boring. They can be cool, just the way Toby does them.